Hi, I hope you are good. Today's story on Miss Bill's story time as part of hashtag share the story Sunday is one that you guys voted for in Friday's poll. Now it was a book I was going to leave until we were going back to school in September but I thought why not read it now because I'm sure some of us can relate to this story already and this story is called The Woolly Saurus. Are we ready? Let's go. On a hot and sunny morning under lovely clear blue skies, a little woolly saurus was opening his eyes. He brushed his pointy teeth, then washed his top and tail. He packed a little bag of snacks and set off on a trail. He skipped along with happy legs across the golden sands and thought about the day that he had plotted, sketched and planned. A lovely yummy picnic, a delicious summer spread. Worry Saurus liked it when he knew what lay ahead. But he hadn't gotten far, you see. It hadn't been that long before his busy head dreamed up some things that might go wrong. Had he made enough to eat today and brought enough to drink, this Worry Saurus often was a one to overthink. What if I get lost, he thought, or trip and have a fall? His happy legs were slowing to a snuffly, shuffly crawl. Worry Saurus liked it when he felt he was prepared. Unexpected happenings, they made him feel quite scared. So when? Suddenly, from nowhere, a lizard skittered by, shouting in a squeaky yelp and pointing at the sky. I think a storm is coming. I heard it's on its way. Well, that really put a cloud above his worry Saurus day. A storm, said worry Saurus, when it's so dry and hot and sunny. But the news became a butterfly that flittered in his tummy. I'm not ready for the rain, he said. I haven't got my wellies. His teeth began to chatter and his knees, they turned to jellies. And all the while the sky was blue. The sun, it shone and shone, but now his lovely picnic thoughts were definitely gone. Should he find a cave to shelter or run back home and hide? His little woolly butterfly grew very strong inside. But then he thought of something that his mummy liked to say. Oh, my little woolly saurus, chase that butterfly away. Don't you worry now, my love, you must try not to fret. If it's not a happy ending, then it hasn't ended yet. So he reached into his bag just then to find a little tin. It helped him with his worries. It had happy things within, a special stick his teddy Ned, a pebble and a letter. And as he held them one by one, so everything felt better. Then he put away his tin and all the worries in his head, freed his little butterfly for happy thoughts instead. I'll stand up tall, I can be strong. I'll chase my fears away. All is good and all is well and everything's okay. And with those little wordlings, he calmed his busy brain. Since when the sun is shining, why worry it will rain? So he shared his little picnic with the lizard in the sun and they laughed at all their worrying and really had some fun. Since when you're in the moment, there's no need to run or hide. And then the only butterflies will be the ones outside. The end. That is one of my favourite stories and it just shows us that it's okay to worry. Everybody worries but that doesn't mean that the worries are always a bad thing. It's really important that we share them with each other so that we can all be happy and nobody has the little butterflies in their tummy. They'll just all be outside around us. I hope you enjoyed today's story. If you did and want to let me know, remember the hashtag is hashtag share a story Sunday. Again, any requests, please let me know and I will get back to you with them. Um, 
if you're on Instagram, like, comment, share it with people. If we're on YouTube, if we could subscribe, please. If not, have a lovely remainder of your Sunday and I will see you all on Wednesday for We Read on Wednesdays. Although I may have a surprise later on for you guys. For now, I will see you later. Bye everyone.